Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here, continuing uh, turn one for Eastern Pact, and uh, we're going to do combat orders now. So, uh, into the Red Sea here, we are going to take one Caliphate cruise missile is going to be fired from the airbase in the central Caliphate. So I just reduced the number of cruise missiles by one, and that cruise missile gets launched into there like that. We're also going to bring in one frigate from the Arabian Sea like this. And we're also going to bring in one frigate from the eastern Mediterranean, and I'll just put him down there like that. So that's two frigates and a cruise missile attacking the um, U.S. naval forces in the Red Sea. All right, so that one's done. In Turkey, we are going to have, going into Turkey, we are going to have one fighter from the central caliphate will be attacking into Turkey one fighter from Egypt will be going one two into Turkey we will have one attack helicopter from the eastern Mediterranean will be going into Turkey one drone from the central caliphate will be going into Turkey one main battle tank from the Central Caliphate will be going into Turkey and two infantry which I will need to chip out two infantry from the Central Caliphate will also be going into Turkey so let me grab some chips here so that's five chip him out with five chips like that and then I said two infantry will be going in and that leaves four back here in the central caliphate okay then in India we will be firing one cruise missile from the airbase in Iran Pakistan into the central caliphate. So there's that. Now, let's go to Europe. Let's go up here, like that. Into Germany, we will be firing one cruise missile from the guided missile destroyer in the Baltic Sea and it will be doing a base strike onto the airbase in Germany, like that. In Turkey, also, Russia will be committing several troops. One cruise missile will be fired from Caucasia into the Turkey battle. And then one cruise missile from the attack submarine in the Black Sea will also be fired into the Turkey battle. Like that. All right. On the U.S. East Coast, this attack submarine will move from the Central Atlantic to the East Atlantic. And then both attack subs will both fire cruise missiles into the U.S. East Coast. Like that. Back to Europe. Into the Balkan states. We will take four infantry from Ukraine, Belarus. We will take one attack helicopter from Ukraine, Belarus. We'll take one fighter also from Ukraine, Belarus. We'll take one main battle tank from Ukraine, Belarus. And we will take one drone from Ukraine, Belarus into this fight. And we will also fire one cruise missile from Ukraine, Belarus into that fight as well. 
into Central Europe. We will take three main battle tanks from U Ukraine, Belarus. We will take two main battle tanks from Balkan states. We will take four infantry from Balkan states. Let me go ahead and ship this guy out. And we will take one attack helicopter from Baltic states. Into Scandinavia. Up here, we will take, oh, sorry, we will also take one drone from Baltic states into Central Europe as well. Into Scandinavia, one fighter from Baltic states will go one, two. One attack helicopter from the LHD in the Baltic Sea. One airborne infantry from Northern Russia. One drone from Northern Russia. We will take one cruise missile fired from the airbase in Northern Russia. We will take one infantry from Northern Russia, which I will need to chip out. And one infantry from Baltic states will hop onto the LHD and also get out there. So I'll just put a chip under that infantry that I brought in. Okay. There's that. All right, let's go over to the other side of the world. All the way over here. Let's see. In the Hawaiian Islands. One cruise missile from the attack sub in Northern Pacific will be fired in to the Hawaiian Islands. Okay. I'm going to fire other cruise missiles in here too from other factions, so I'll just put that chip right there. Check. Check. In Alaska, one cruise missile from the attack sub in the Bering Sea is going to do an airbase strike on the airbase in, I ran out of cruise missile markers, so I'll just turn that one upside down and we'll use that. In the Sea of Japan, I'm doing all the Russian stuff first if you haven't noticed. Uh, one fighter from Siberia will go one, two, and will join the attack on the Pacific Coalition Naval Forces. Uh, one frigate and one guided missile destroyer will also move in here and join the attack. You can see here that Mad uh, Knights Templar told me that this guy was actually going to start on silent running, so it's only these two Pacific Coalition naval units that'll be in this fight. And that is all the Russian combat movement and the Caliphate. So now we just have China. So for China, in the Bay of Bengal, this airbase will fire one cruise missile at those Pacific Coalition ships like that. In the Hawaiian Sea, one cruise missile from this sub will be fired into here. So I will just add that as a chip. And then the attack sub will move from 
Celebes C up here. It can move into here with other enemy naval units and still fire a cruise missile. And it will do that and again into the Hawaiian Sea. So I'll remove another cruise missile and then do this. So I've got a total of three cruise missiles going into here. All right, in the Sea of Japan, we will move, we will fire two cruise missiles from the airbase at the East China, in East China, and the airbase in South China. We'll both fire into the Sea of Japan. Find my cruise missile here. There we go. So there's two cruise missiles. All units from the South China Sea will move in. And I'll just put this boomer up here because he's not going to be in the fight. All these units will also move in. Like that. And then they're going to pick up one, inf the LHD is going to pick up one infantry and one main battle tank from East China. Right, this main battle tank is on the LHD. One infantry, which I will chip out, is also on the LHD. And then into Japan will go these two airborne infantry, one, two. And they will be joined, hopefully, unless I get diced, by the MBT, by the infantry, and by these two fighters and this aircraft that is sitting there on uh, these carriers and LHDs, which can participate in the amphibious assault if they survive. All right. <clears throat> Last but not least, um, and I'm going to use... Uh, a little uh, makeshift caddy for this. So, into South Korea will be everything in North Korea. Two main battle tanks from Manchuria will go one, two. So I will just chip him out. Like that. One attack helicopter from Manchuria will go one, two. And one cruise missile from North Korea. Which is this airbase will fire as well into this battle. So let me get my bearings here for a minute. Had to reduce their cruise missiles by one. All right, now, I think I'm not moving this guy, but I do think I can bring this guy into this battle here just in case, or do I want to take him into South Korea? Battles in South Korea only last one round. You know, I'll just take him into here. Actually, it'll be overkill. I'll take him, I'll go one, two into South Korea. All right, that is all of my combat. So let's resolve and let's start from right to left since we're over here. So this is a base strike by a cruise missile. And in a base strike, there's no defense against it since it's a cruise missile strike. I'm gonna roll a dice. If it's a one to four, then Knights Templar can choose to pay off that damage. On the, at the start of his turn, or if it's a five to six, it takes a serious a damage marker and he can't pay that off until the end of his next turn, uh, and he has to pay five IPP to pay it off. So let's see what it's going to be. Wow, you're a big spender, Knight Templar. That is one damage on the Alaskan Air Base, which you can pay off. So I'll put that right there, like that. All right. Now, let's do 
this these three cruise missiles are doing a naval strike. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. So this is just a plain cruise missile strike. So, and this is at the full value of the cruise missiles, which is three, and there's no defense against it. So I am using D12s. So let me get some D12s here. And these will be target select of one, two. So, yep. Target select two or less. So let's see what we get in Knights Templar. Okay, these two missed. This one was outside, so I'm going to re-roll it. That's a three. So that's a hit, but it's not a target select. So I assume that you would lose this guy, which is a frigate, and not your LHD, and not your guided missile destroyer. So if you disagree, tell me that, and I'm happy to adjust it. All right, so let me take these away. Let me take that away. All right. So I think we're going to have to move this one to the battle board. So this is the naval combat. So let me just grab this. Put all these units on here, which I probably should have done while I was doing the com or while I was doing the combat moves. But you live and you learn. You live and you learn. So I've got a drone. I've got, got a missile destroyer. I've got two cruise missiles. I've got these two. I've got this guy. I think I'm going to win this. Um, and then he has these two defending. All right. So let's move this over to the battle board. the camera over and let me make this a little bit wider there there you should be able to see it now all right so the two cruise missiles will have first strike the attack helicopter the drone which I'll probably put on my fighters or no I'll put the drone on my guided missile destroyer like that. Let me double check that on the drones. Place the drone beneath a unit. Yep, can be any unit. All right, so put it with the Chinese guided missile destroyer there. And then we've got a Russian guided missile destroyer, a Russian frigate. Russian fighter, and then we've got two Chinese fighters. Both of these guys can move into the amphibious assault. LHD, which has no attack value. Super carrier, which also apparently has no attack value. And these two guys here. So actually, I'm just gonna leave those guys there. And then this is a guided missile destroyer, and this is a frigate. Okay, so, and let me check the frigate again. Frigates only have sub-target select, and guided missile destroyers don't have target select at all, so that's really good. Okay, so let's roll some dice. So let's do the Chinese first. Eight or less, I get to roll two, and I get to keep my best roll. And that's an eight and a four, so it doesn't matter. So that's a hit, and I assume that you would take this, like this. The frigate. I'll go ahead and roll the Russian guided missile destroyer. That's a five. So that's also a hit. So he's dead. All right. In return, the Pacific Coalition. I'll roll with these turquoise dice. The frigate rolls at a four. He misses at a six. Guided missile destroyer rolls at an eight. Oh, he misses at a 12. All right. So I will take that for sure. So if we come back over here, then we
we can see, don't need to be that wide. So we'll take this off. His sub stays here in silent running. He's sitting this one out. Not very courageous. And so, super carrier's still here. LHD lands his infantry and his main battle tank. And then the two um, Chinese fighters that were on the super carrier and the Chinese attack helicopter that was on the LHD can also participate in the amphibious assault. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the cruise missile strikes. <laughs> they were first strike, but it didn't matter. So uh, anyway, first mistake made. Didn't really cost me because uh, he didn't hit anything. Um, so anyway, this... Uh, I'm not sure if the drone can participate. I'm going to assume he can't. He's going to stay right there. And this Russian uh, will go there. I thought I had a Russian frigate in there too. Uh, I'm not sure where he went. Oh, here he is. He was hiding on the battle board. There we go. All right, so this land battle, let's take it over. Um... I wonder if we couldn't just do this right here since he's got three defending infantry. Um, you know, in the interest of time, let's just do it right here. So I've got two fighters at six, a main battle tank at six. So that's three at six. So let's go ahead and roll those three. Get my red dice here. Three at six. One hit. So it doesn't really matter. I'm assuming he'll just lose this U.S. infantry. All right. And then I've got an attack helicopter, which is at four. That's a hit. Very nice. So I'll just switch this now just for simplicity. So you've lost two infantry. And then I've got an infantry... At two. That's a 12. That's a miss. All right, so now let's get some more appropriately colored dice here. Uh, I guess I'll use the green ones. I need some gold dice, really. So three at four in response. No hits. That's a nine, a six, and a 12. All right, so let's go to round two. And technically, this is round three of the Amphibious Assault, so this is the last round that we can have. So, let's roll my three at six again. That's a hit right there with a five. I'll roll the other one just to be safe in case I did something wrong. That's a 12. I'll roll the two airborne again really quickly, and that's another hit with the airborne. So that's two. That's an excess hit there. Let's roll the U.S. Infantry back at a four, and that is a four, so I will lose this infantry. So I take Japan, so I take Japan, and I'll take this, put that guy there. These guys here, these guys here, these guys here, I'll land them during non-combat. I'm going to put this right here to show that I have a victory point. And that's 5 IPP. So China goes from 35 to 40. And Pacific Coalition goes from 31 to 26. Alright, now let's do the big one in... South Korea, and I need to put all these guys over here, like that. And then let's take them over to the battle board. All right, let's see here what we can do now. These units in South Korea defend at plus two, and combat can only last one round. And so these infantry that normally defend at four are going to defend at six. 
This infantry is going to defend at six. Uh, my infantry here are going to attack at two. My two fighters are going to attack at six. My three main battle tanks are going to attack at six. My drone, and he's got a main battle tank which will defend at eight. He's got a fighter that will defend at eight. My attack helicopter will be at four. My cruise missile will be at three, and that is a first strike. I will put my drone on one of the main battle tanks. Like that. Let me see the fighters in the main battle tanks. Uh, let me check something in the rules, guys. Fighter target select. Need to be really clear what it can select. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to assume fighters have land target select. Target selection. Nope, fighter can choose any unit as a casualty. So I'm going to put this on one of my fighters because I could target select his fighter as a casualty. Whereas the main battle tank can only target select a land unit. All right, so let's do this. Cruise missile first. I'm not going to make this mistake this time. So let me move this back a little bit. A little bit closer. Actually, I can probably move this in here like this just to get a little bit closer. All right, cruise missile, three or less. Let's see what we get. That's a 12. That's a miss, so he's gone. All right, uh, let's do this guy. I get to roll him twice because of the drone. I get a five and a seven, so that's a hit. I'll take the five, obviously, and then I'll roll my uh, other fighter. That's an 11. That's a miss. I'll roll my three main battle tanks. This is at six or less. Ouch, Knights Templar. That is three hits. One, two, three. I also had a hit up here, so I'm going to keep track with this dice. So I've got four total hits so far. Attack helicopter shoots at four or less. That's also a hit. There's the five, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five infantry all attacking at two. Where's my other red dice? Here they are. This is five at two. No hits. All right, so that's five hits. I'm assuming, Knights Templar, that you would take one, two, three, four, five for your hits, like that. All right, so. And he does not have a drone in South Korea. I just double check that. So, okay. Now, this could get brutal. So. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at six or less. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at six or less across the DMZ. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's one, two, three, four. Five, six hits. All right, so that is six hits right there. And then he's got a main battle tank at eight. That's not only a hit, but it's a one, which means I assume he would take my main battle tank. 
as a target select. So I will do that. And then he's got a fighter at eight. Oh, and that misses. So small favors. <laughs> Thank you for the small favor. So you lose five infantry. I got to take six hits. So that is one, two, three, four, five of my infantry are gone. And then I got to take one more hit, which I will take with my attack helicopter. So yeah, pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. All right, and worst thing is all this stuff just goes back because that's only one round of combat. So all that goes back in there like that. And then I've got two main battle tanks, fighter, fighter, and a drone. And of course, I could move some of that around with non-combat movement, but we'll have to see. And I'll take that off of there. Okay, let's do this. All right, one cruise missile strike into here. So I am looking for a three or less on this one. It's a nine, so that is a miss. One cruise missile strike into here. So I'm also looking for a three or less. Let's roll this one. That's a four. That's also a miss. All right. Uh, let's do this. So I'm probably going to need to move this one to the battle board also. So... Super carrier defends at two. Here, I'll just move all these over here and then we'll figure it out on camera so you don't have to just listen to me talk. All right. Okay. We have a cruise missile. We have two frigates. Then here we have a super carrier. We have a drone which I'm assuming he would put with his fighter. Attack submarine that gets first strike, a frigate, an attack helicopter. All right, so I will roll my cruise missile first. So let me move this in here a little bit closer. And I think I can kind of do this because there's really nothing down here. All right, cruise missile, three or less. It's an eight, that's a miss. And then I've got two frigates at four. <laughs> no hits. All right, so he's got a fighter at six, which has a drone, which means he gets to roll twice. And he gets to keep the four, which is a hit. So that's one hit. And then, oh, he, oh sorry. Sorry, I already realized I messed this up. But I didn't hit with my frigate, so it's okay. I'm going to roll for his attack sub now which is a first strike at a four or less, which is a hit, which killed my frigate. And since he already got another hit, then this battle's over. And I did, I inflicted no damage, which I'm okay with because I kind of feel like this Caliphate Navy is just destined to die anyway. So let me remove this. And that was obviously disappointing. Goes there, there, this, and the drone is on there too. All right, so let's do Turkey. So I kind of feel like I can do this one not on the battle board also, Nice Templar. So let me do this. Uh, since you've only got a couple of units defending, so I've got two cruise missiles, which are first strike at three or less. So let's roll those first. 
Oh, there's a hit and there's a target select. So I will target select your main battle tank. All right, so those did their job. Thank you. Then I've got a drone that I'm going to put with one of my fighters. So he will roll two at set two and he can get to pick one. So he'll pick the three, which is a hit, which is another one of your infantry. And then you only got one unit left, so I'll go ahead and roll these two together. They're both at six, and there's the last hit. And then I'll get some blue NATO dice for you to roll. Your defense, two at four, and you get one hit, so I will lose one of the infantry. Okay. So, the Caliphate, actually it's the Caliphate that takes Turkey, not Russia. So, there's that. These two guys are gone. And Caliphate goes up to 18. NATO goes down to 35. Like that. Okay. Now, I feel like I can also do this one without the battle board. So let me do this. Here, let's move this guy. Let's do this, that should work. Okay, so I do have a cruise missile, which is a first strike. Now these combats in NATO territories can only last two rounds. So always keep that in mind. So I do have a cruise missile at three or less, first strike, and that's a miss. Oh, my ICBMs are already acting up. All right, let me take him off. All right, I'm gonna put my drone with my fighter. So that'll give me two dice at six. And I will definitely keep that one because that will target select his main battle tank. All right. And then I've got a main battle tank at six. That's a miss. We've got an attack helicopter at four. That's a miss. And I've got one, two, three, four, five infantry at two. Five infantry at two. Oh my gosh. There's a miss. I definitely can't roll like more than three with this. Um, or they kind of come out. So let me make sure I'm not messing this up somehow. I don't know what I did here. Uh, oh, well, I need to roll one more dice. So I'll figure all that out later. Oh, there's a hit. Thank you. So that's one infantry. All right, so Knights Templar, you get two dice at four and one at six. So here's the two at four, miss, one more at four, miss, and one at six, also a miss, ouch. So round two, we've got one NATO infantry left right here. And we've got I've just figured that out. It was German stack of infantry. All right, so let's go ahead and roll the fighter. I only need one more hit, and the fighter has a drone. So let's see if we can get it. That's a six. This one's cocked, but it doesn't matter because that's a six. All right, NATO infantry back. That's a five. Tough luck there with getting no hits. So Balkan states goes to Russia. So that's NATO down to more. Russia up to 26. All right, let's just do the same thing here in Central Europe. Um, I think we can get this done here. Like that. We can see that. All right, so I've got a drone which is gonna go with one of my main battle tanks. He's got three infantry, I've got five MBTs. So 
Let's roll one of the MBTs with the drone first. And it's a hit. So target select doesn't matter here. And then I've got I've got four more main battle tanks. So here's two. Both miss. Here's the other two. And both miss. All right. Attack helicopter at four. Misses. And I've got four infantry at two. So here's two of the infantry. That's an 11. That's a two. So there's one hit. And then here's two more of the infantry. Oh, another. Oh, my gosh. Two twos. All right. I'll take that. And then three NATO infantry at four. And there's one hit. So I will lose one of my infantry. That. All right. All right, that's three more for Russia and three down for NATO. So Russia goes to 29, NATO goes to 30. All right, let's do the space strike in Germany. And again, I just roll a d6, and we'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot to do, you know what? You know what I realized is that I did the base, I did the cruise missile strike wrong in Korea. Um, that should have been a base strike. So I can't remember whether the cruise missile got a hit or not. So you know what? We'll just forget about it. That's my fault. I'm not going to go back and redo it. If Knights Templar wants to give grace to me and say that the cruise missile didn't hit in the combat, but it can do the base strike, I'll take it, but certainly not required. So here's the base strike in Germany. That's only two damage. Man, this, this could be going better in terms of my base strikes. Either forgetting to do a base strike or... Not rolling well on the ones that I do remember to do. All right. So, and then up here in Scandinavia, again, I think this is one we can probably not do on the battle board. So, I'll put the drone with my fighter again. And let me see if I can get in here a little bit closer. Let's see if I can move these. Like that. Uh, I can move this in a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So first thing is cruise missile at three or less. Oh, all close, but nope. All right. Then I got a fighter, which I get to roll two dice with. And both will hit at six. That's a hit. So that's one infantry. Got an attack helicopter at four. That's a five. That's a miss. I've got an airborne and a regular infantry all at two. Oh, there's a hit. Nice. All right. And then NATO has two back at four or less. Where's my blue dice? Ooh, one hit, so I'll lose an infantry. All right, so that's three more for Russia. And three down for NATO. So Russia goes to 32, NATO goes to 27. Okay, and as far as I can see, last combat is right here with these two cruise missiles. I think I've done everything else. So let's go ahead and roll these. Put this guy right here. Rearrange some of my stuff here. All right, and we're looking for two threes or less here. Nope, both miss. All right. Okay, so now we move right into strategic movement. 
So, in strategic movement, this frigate is going to go one, two, down to there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this fighter and this drone will go back to Ukraine, Belarus, like that. Uh, these two guys will go down here, like that. These two guys will come in here, like that. These two guys will come in here. I'll ship him out. This main battle tank will also come in to Iran, Pakistan. These two fighters will go land back in Central Caliphate. Oh, wait a minute. I think one of those guys is supposed to go somewhere else. Oh, yeah. One of those guys is going to land back here in Iran, Pakistan. This drone will land in Central Caliphate. And then, let's see. All right. I already moved this guy. Uh, this fighter will land back here in northern Russia. This drone will land back in northern Russia. This attack helicopter will land back in northern Russia. Actually, instead of moving these two guys down here, I'll keep one guy in Moscow and I'll move one guy down to Caucasia. All right. Let's see. Over here. <clears throat> these fighters will land back on the supercarrier. This fighter will land back in Siberia. This Chinese fighter will move to Amur. Um, this guy will stay here. That guy will get chipped out and will move to Kazakhstan. Um... All of these infantry, five infantry, will move into North Korea. This main battle tank will move to South Korea. Uh, one of the fighters that fought in the Korea battle will land back into South China.
Let's see. One infantry will move from South China down to Southeast Asia. And I think that's it. Um, actually, no. One infantry will move from North African Caliphate to Egyptian Caliphate. This guy will move into the Black Sea. Okay, now I think I'm done. All right, so I took one victory star um, that turn. And now I need to place units. So let me actually get the chart here and see. Go through this in order, the end of turn phase. All right, end of turn phase. You can do this in any order. You don't have to pay to remove any damage markers. I don't have to repair any damage super carriers. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So place units. Okay, so. For Russia, we will, Russia has two infantry and three main battle tanks to place. We will put one infantry in central Russia and we will put another infantry in Northern Russia and we will put three main battle tanks in Ukraine Belarus like that all right then we will, okay, for the Caliphate, we've got an Airborne, which will go here in Central Caliphate. And then we've got four infantry. And we will put all four infantry here in Central Caliphate as well. Okay, for China. China built two infantry a main, and four main battle tanks. So, let's see, in Korea I can put two infantry and one main battle tank. So. Right here in Korea, I will put two of the infantry one of the main battle tanks and then I will put the remaining three main battle tanks in Manchuria. Okay, so that is it. So um, let me collect income and then I'll do a disposition of forces for Knights Templar. So uh, Caliphate gets 18, Russia gets 32, and China gets 40. So for Caliphate, that'll be 10, 5, 18. For Russia, I think I said 32, so that's 25, 30, 
two. Come on. And then for China, it was 40. So 25, 35, 40. All right. So this is Caliphate's 18. This is China's 40. So they'll have 41 to spend next turn. And then let me grab Russia's money. I think Russia said they, I said Russia had 32. So that's 25, 30, 31, 32. All right. So disposition of forces. Um, Russia has seven cruise missiles left. Haven't fired anything else. Caliphate has two cruise missiles left. And China has four cruise missiles left. Okay. And then in North Korea... I have five, uh, actually seven infantry, three main battle tanks, a drone, and a fighter, and two IRBMs. I have a sub in Central Pacific. I have a sub in Wake Island. I have a Russian sub in North Pacific, a Russian sub in Bering Sea, three infantry and a fighter in Siberia, two infantry and a Chinese fighter in Amur. In Japan, I have an attack helicopter a main battle tank, two airborne infantry. In Sea of Japan, I have an LHD, a supercarrier with two fighters and a drone. And I have a Chinese guided missile destroyer, a Russian guided missile destroyer, and a Russian frigate. In Manchuria, I have three main battle tanks. In East China, I have uh, four ICBMs and a, an infantry. And in South China, I have an infantry and a fighter. In Southeast China, I have five infantry, a main battle tank, and an attack helicopter. In Xinjiang, I have one light infantry. In South Yakutia, I have two, light, two infantry and two ICBMs. In Central Russia, I have an infantry. In Kazakhstan, I have an infantry. In Iran, Pakistan, I have six Caliphate infantry, four Russian infantry, a Caliphate main battle tank, a Caliphate fighter, a Russian main battle tank, and three Caliphate IRBMs. In Central Caliphate, I have two, three, four, eight Caliphate infantry, one Caliphate airborne, a Caliphate fighter, and a drone. In Somalia, I have two Caliphate infantry. In Egyptian Caliphate, I have three infantry and a main battle tank. In North African Caliphate, I have two infantry. In Venezuela, I have two infantry. In Panama, I have two infantry. In Central Atlantic, I have an attack sub. In Mid-Atlantic, I have an attack sub. In Turkey, I have an infantry, an attack helicopter, and a main battle tank. In Black Sea, I have a Caliphate LHD and a Russian attack sub. In Caucasia, I have a Russian infantry and two ICBMs. In Ukraine, Belarus, I have two light infantry, a drone, a fighter, and three main battle tanks. In Baltic states, I have five infantry, a main battle tank, and an attack helicopter. I'm going to chip this guy out before I tell you. In Central Europe, I have five main battle tanks, a drone, an attack helicopter, and three infantry. In Baltic states, I have an infantry and a main battle tank. In Baltic Sea, I have a boomer, I have a frigate, a guided missile destroyer, and an LHD. In Moscow, I have an infantry. In Northern Russia, I have two ICBMs, two infantry, an attack helicopter, and a drone. And last but not least, in Scandinavia, I have an airborne and I have an infantry. So I think that'll do it for uh, turn one for the Eastern Pact. Hope you all enjoyed this. I know I did. And good luck to Knights Templar in turn one for Western Allies.